Hey everyone, it's Justine, and today I'm going to be showing off a really fun set of cards using Catherine Pooler inks as well as the Faithful Flutterings stamp set. This here has really beautiful layered butterflies. They almost look like watercolor when they're finished, and it comes with a variety of sentiments, mostly sympathy sentiments, but a few others as well, so you can use them for different occasions. I'm going to be using some of my Catherine Pooler blocks here, as well as her colors, in order to ink up and stamp this. I'm going to start off stamping in the party collection colors. So that means I'm going to be stamping in some melon ice for the first layer, some it's a girl for the first layer, as well as it's a boy. So I get a nice variety of this really nice yellowy green, some pink, and some blue. The first layer on layering stamps is the one that kind of matters the least because the other details are going to fill in the gaps. So if you get a couple of little lighter spots, it's not a big deal. I'm going to go in with my second layer now. I'm using Garden Party, Fiesta Blue, and Be Mine. Be Mine is a color that's not available at the moment in our shop because that came out with the last stamp of approval kit, but you just need another shade of pink. So this is the second layer here and it makes just such a gorgeous and lovely touch. I'm going in with both the large and the small butterfly. They're so easy to line up, I can even do it with blocks, which is very rare. Because each of the layers actually takes on the shape of the butterfly, it's super easy. For my last layer, I'm going to be using Something Borrowed, Lime Ricky, and Party Dress in order to do all three of these really pretty, simple final details. So that's the end of stamping out the butterfly in all three of the layers. I'm just going to simply go in and add the hay there in some blackjack ink and then that's it. Next up, I'm going to start off my next card here, and I'm just going to be stamping it in three of the spa collection colors. So I wanted to show you the difference between the party collection and the spa collection colors. You'll see there's a very subtle tone to them. I'm going to be using a couple of different colors here for the base, sea foam, stone blue, and rose petals. Now since you've already seen this card in action, I've already stamped it out for you a couple of times, I'm just going to go ahead and put you sort of in warp speed just to show you the difference of the two colors. So for the next color panel, I'm going to be using Eucalyptus as well as Twilight and Polished in order to do the second layer. My third layer consists of Spruce, Juniper Mist, and then for the final pink color, I used Peppermint Scrub. So so now you can see the difference between the two colors side by side with the party collection and the spa collection. One is very vibrant and the other one is more subtle, beautiful, rich tones. Both are absolutely gorgeous in their own way. Now on to the next card. I'm going to be using the same color combination this time. So rose petals, polished and peppermint scrub, as well as the blue tones, I'm using stone blue, twilight, and then Juniper Mist, and then the, for the green one I am using the Sea Foam, Eucalyptus, and Spruce. So I'm just creating it with the big butterflies this time, the three layers, and I'm going to be doing something a little bit different to these as well. So after I'm all finished doing all of my layered stamping here, I'm going to be adding some, a layer of embossing powder on top of them. So I stamped that out in the spa collection for you this time to see, and I also stamped it in the party collection on the side so you can see the colors that I used once again in the three butterflies. So what I did after that was I grabbed my card base and I grabbed the first layer, so it's the complete solid layer of the butterfly, and I'm going to be inking that up in some Versamark ink and stamping over top so I'm able to add some embossing powder afterwards. So I added some Wonderlust embossing powder, which is a clear embossing powder with sparkles and glitter in it. It's one of my favorites. I've been using it lots so far. It's available at Catherine Pooler's store as well, and you can just see the shine that's on it, the absolute beautiful glitter on top of the card. I tried to capture the look as best I could in photography. So my last card here, I simply stamped out all three of them once again. So I did the green, blue, and pink, and then I went ahead and added a sentiment over top. So before I did that, I had to actually go in and add the butterfly's body here to each one of them. So the butterflies do come with a body and everything, as well as sentiments, which I used on the cards. So I went ahead and just added a sentiment onto the middle of this card that comes with the same stamp set as the butterflies. And the stamp is a quote from A.A. Milne, which, who is the author of Winnie the Pooh. 
So I thought that was really cool. So here's a final look at all the cards. All I did was very simply stamp sentiments onto the background, so I didn't bother showing that off too much in the actual video itself. So I created a sympathy, an encouragement, and a general card for my final products. Thanks so much for watching. As you know, all of the supplies are listed below in the video description. I have another video suggestion here, and you can subscribe to my channel anytime. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great day.